even as early back as like 1987 when Dungeon Master came out on the Atari 1040 ST. I've loved games that were first person, some combination of visceral action and mobility, uh, you know, immersive movement through the world and uh, with RPG features and whether that includes like tactical power combinations that you can put together or moral expression or whatever, I've always loved that, right? Whether you're talking about an old game like Ultima Underworld or a more recent game like Bioshock or Far Cry 2, those games totally turned me on. And Arcane made Arx Fatalis, which was like an homage to Underworld. It's more than a passion, it's almost a religion for us. You know, we want to see where these games go in the future. and We want to keep trying to make them. And so for us, it was like just like about recruiting more and more people that love those kind of games, understand them. And over the course of the years, we've, you know, we've hired more and more people that get those games, you know, Harvey being one of them, but you know, there are other people like Ricardo Barr, who was on Deus Ex as well, Monty Martinez, who was on Deus Ex. Deus Ex was an opportunity to work with Warren Spector and some really talented people, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I kind of saw it as Underworld with guns, and uh, it was like, you know, the most thrilling alignment of the right circumstances and the right people that I've been able to experience so far. But, you know, Raph and I have super high hopes for Dishonored. We're, we're having a great time working on it, and uh, it seems like our publisher understands what we do, and, and they're very supportive of it. Zenimax is not asking us to be somebody we're not. They're not asking us to make a game that is uh, somebody else's game. All of that interest in those types of games have led to this point where when Raph and I talk about our game, it's like 85% of the time he can finish my sentences, I could finish his. Our goal from the start has been to have deep systems that, that interact with each other in very complex ways. So we'll make, a, we'll make a, a feature of the game and it works in a certain way uh, every time you do it. And so there are a lot of interactions that are basically not scripted by the designers. You know, nobody, nobody thought that they would happen. Yeah, and I think another thing that uh, we're trying to achieve in this game, and that's uh, probably not so much game are, are doing at the moment, is trying to always say yes to the player. So whenever you see something in the, in the game, in the world, that you think you can interact with and do something with it, we always try to make sure that you can actually do something with it so that it doesn't feel like the world is just a static scenery that is just here for the purpose of the game, but it's really a world that reacts to your action, to your presence, and to everything. So I think it's really something really strong in what we are doing, and again, it comes back again to the, the idea of the simulated world that uh, you can play in, basically. The cool things about, about things like fantasy novels or science fiction novels is that, is that they transport you somewhere. Um, so I want to go t into a new world that I've never been into before and explore it. And then when I'm in that world, I want to be able to make choices that have like really cool consequences. So I feel like I have some agency in this world. I can make an impact and change things down the road. So those are the kind of games that I really like and that's what I really hope uh, that we can pull off here with Dishonored. So now like working with, uh, on Dishonored with Harvey, uh, it's for us it's like we, we, we come at the, I think at the very, uh, the most mature moment of Arcane where our uh, hope is that everything we've learned and, uh, you know, uh, for the, the good and the bad, we are able to now use for the best for this game. I've worked at several game companies, and uh, I've never worked at a company as focused as Arcane is. And they're focused on this kind of game. The, basically, the, the, a game like Deus Ex or Bioshock, where you have uh, open systemic environments and, and systems that you can interact with. And they've been focused like a laser on that from the start. That's, that's always what they want. And they're, uh, and they're putting it together in a way that I don't think anybody else in the industry could do.